Okay. Okay. Here we go. Questions. Questions. Okay. Is Rohin the one who chose the free program Tarzan or you? Whenever I see your program, it has a strong image that is different from your past programs. You do, um, how do you feel when you perform it? What are the difficulties of any? Okay, a lot of difficulties, but let me start here. So my best friend actually chose my music. So it was her idea. So that's very exciting. Um, and I just f instantly fell in love with it and was so uh, excited about creating something with Rohin to the music. Um, how do you feel when you perform it? So it's very much at like the very beginning stages. So every time I perform it, it feels very different. So um, I haven't found the consistency yet that I would love, obviously, but hopefully as the season goes on, I'll get more and more comfortable with it. Um, and what are the difficulties? Everything. <laughs> right now, everything feels so hard. Um, there's a lot more chore choreography that's planned that I had to pull out for this event just because I needed to get from the start to the finish. Um, and it's just so new. Um, so I have a lot of work ahead of me. A lot, a lot, a lot of work. But um, I'm excited for you guys to see the program develop and see all the changes. And as I kind of continue to add choreography, I keep a lookout for it. Okay. Um, two. <laughs> Two, is Rohin's suggestion to include reverse spin in your free program? That's a great question. Um, it started more because of the new spin rules. So with the reverse spin, it's just a, a, another feature that we need to get a level four. So that was more of why uh, we decided to put that in. But I need to keep working on it because I need to make it better and better and better. Um, are you planning to be a reporter again for Skate America? I wish, but no, I'm gonna be training. I have training to do, so I'll be training during Skate America so that I can do better and better as the season goes on with my uh, competitions. Um, if you had a week off right now, where would you go in Japan and what would you like to do? I've never been to Nara. I really wanna go to Nara. Um, that's definitely on my bucket list. I've never been to Mount Fuji, so I would love to go there. Um, never been to Okinawa, but I think the first place that I would go is Nara. Um, I would really, I really, really want to go. Um, you love to travel, don't you? I do. Um, you're always flying from country to country. True. Um, how do you get rid of jet lag? What are your recommendations? So what I've kind of learned when traveling is really try your best to just stay active during the day, stay busy, keep moving. Um, and then sleep when you can you know at night i think so often we stress about if we're up in the middle of the night or if we can't sleep and i think go to bed at night when you go to bed if you wake up in the middle of the night maybe read a book but just relax don't stress about the fact that you can't sleep just read go to bed when you can um but um, i do think the scheduling is really important so just making sure that during the day you stay really active um and don't allow yourself to fall asleep <laughs> So those are the questions and I just I love you guys and I wish you guys all the very best and thank you for listening.